So we are currently now in my shed. I just placed two 2x4s two mounted to the studs next to this window here. I have the fresh air intake and the exhaust piping out. On this side, that's where all the fuel pump, diesel air heater, controllers hooked up. I filled it with some fresh diesel. And this will be the battery I am using to power it up. I never started this, this up yet, so just see how that goes. That thing's been primed. It is around 24, 25 degrees. I have the positive lead and the negative lead connected to sort of jumper cables. This is obviously not the ideal solution, but I don't have any battery clamps right now. So this will have to do. So the negative and then the positive. I would not recommend using this setup to hook up a power source to the diesel air heater. However, people have mentioned that they use computer power supplies and that worked also. So this is the initial startup. I just press the on button. You can hear the fan spinning. Now it's the question of will this thing prime or not. I probably should have read the manual before I turned it on. You can hear that the diesel heater is on, but it doesn't seem to be priming. Wait, here we go. After a minute in, the diesel pump it's starting to self-prime. I did not press any additional buttons. All I did so far is press the on button. It has been two minutes in. Let's see how long this will take for it to prime. Not sure if you can see that, but it is actually slowly going up the tube. It has been two and a half minutes since it has been turned on. It is slowly getting there. Now, if you have a long, much longer tube, I would suggest pre filling it with diesel. Four minutes in. So, approximately four to five minutes. It seems like the diesel fuel has reached the pump. See how much longer it takes. It has stopped priming. It has been four minutes since turn on. The fan has slowed down. The display has changed to on. Five minutes in. I am assuming the glow plug is warming up. It has begun priming again. Okay, I am starting to see a little bit of diesel coming out of the pump. Not sure you could see that. There we go. That's yeah, been seven minutes in. Let's just double check to make sure none of these connections are leaking. Everything looks good.
minutes so far since I turned it on. Yeah. 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees difference. So far so good. First thing on these buttons, you would think it changes the, the set temperature, but it changes something else. I don't know who it is, I should probably read that. Looks like it finally turned off. So approximately two and a half to three minutes is the amount of time it takes for it to turn off. All right, let's turn this back on. I would recommend purchasing this unit. It is not as loud as what people say it is. It sounds almost like a household fan on medium or high speed. It would be quieter if I had the air intake and the air outtake pipe installed. But so far so good. The interior temperature is now at approximately 35 degrees, 34 degrees. The shed is approximately 8 by 14. And the outside temperature is approximately 25 degrees right now. Nothing is insulated. The window is somewhat opened. And I have a couple of ventilation in the roof. Okay, so that's been on for quite a little while now. 41 degrees I probably should have been measuring something that was inside 53 52 Now I was playing with the display controller and if you press the OK button Get a better light. If you press the OK button, it'll show the so a quarter, so the 5.5 hertz is actually the pump speed. If you press down, you can lower the pump speed, which which lowers the the output of the heater. So 5.5 would be the highest. Then, if you hit OK, it shows you the 
Temperature 11 degrees Celsius, 5.5 Hertz for the pump, and a battery voltage of 11.7 volts. 11.6, 11.7. And that is the error code 00, which indicates that everything is working perfectly. I will also include a link in the description for you to download the controller instruction, the list of codes, and also the installation guide for this 5 kilowatt heater. It has now been on for a total of 1 hour and 1 minute, which includes the time, the 10 minutes it took for it to prime during the initial startup earlier. Everything is working flawlessly. I haven't seen any sign of smoke whatsoever. Let's check the exhaust temperature once again. About 165 degrees Fahrenheit exhaust temperature. Thank you for watching and I'll probably have another updated video of this unit.